everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Emily, and today we are gonna be decorating inside and also outside of the house. We're actually gonna start here in the entryway, give a little makeover, spruce it up, change it up a little bit. I'm gonna be working with a lot of decor that I already have, um, just rearranging part of the house, taking pieces from different spots, and we're gonna be working mainly on this um, wall here. The opposite wall currently has a mirror on it, and I wanna swap that. And I also think I want to add board and batten on this wall so it matches. I'm just not positive on that yet. So we're going to work with this wall first and see how we like that. And then we'll address the second wall after that. And then we're actually going to go outside. It's finally a warm, sunny day and it's just gorgeous. It's not as windy as it's been. And I'm just excited because I can finally work on our secondary porch. I've never shared it with you, uh, mainly because it's just holding junk. And so um, I want to clean that off and get that ready for entertaining and stuff and kind of get it decorated and everything like that. So I hope you are excited for today's video. If you enjoy these, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and hit that subscribe if you haven't done so already. I love to just be inspired and motivated that you here on my channel. So with that, let's go ahead and get started working here on the entryway. I love this bench. It's actually from Target and I think it's a really nice style, but I'm thinking about putting it actually on the front porch. Um, people do not sit on this bench when they come over. Everybody takes off their shoes outside and so they sit outside more often. So this might get moved outside. I just can't have it out there during winter time. So it's kind of like that perfect time. We're just entering in that warm season. And I'm talking warm like we're finally almost in the 60s and we might actually see a 70 degree day, which I'm so excited for. We have had a very cold May and really rainy, which is good. I'm happy for the rain. I just wish it would warm up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna take this bench and we're gonna move to the side. I think I'm gonna leave this olive tree here though for now. Um, I like it, I like how much height it adds to the space because this is a vaulted ceiling here. So anything I can do to help that, I think is really good. That is why I did the board and batten treatment so much higher um, than on a typical eight foot wall. This wall I think is close to like 14 feet tall. Um, it's at an angle though. And normally you'd probably stop your board and batten here. Mine's you know here, but I like that. Um, you can see some patches on the wall. I cannot get um, paint, the, the type of paint that I need to replace this, they haven't had it in months. And so if I go with a different paint, um, the sheen's gonna be different and I don't wanna do that. So I'm waiting for the paint to come in. It's just crazy how many shortages there are for absolutely everything. And it's starting to really drive me nuts, <laughs> you know? But we're, I'm gonna actually put a different table here than this black one. The black one is just too small for the space. So I'm gonna change that up. Isn't this awesome? My son found this elk shedding. Isn't that great? It's such a good size too. He is so proud of that. He was looking for gopher holes and instead he found a shed and he is just so excited. I'm very proud of him and it's so smooth where they've scratched and stuff on the trees. <laughs> Our trees aren't very happy about that, but that's okay. But isn't that awesome? came from Amazon and I think they have two or three colors in it. Really like the size of it. It is fantastic. It's easy to put together. Um, I just really like how big it is for this wall. I think it looks really good. This tree also came from Amazon. Um, Target also has one that's very similar um, in pricing. So I'll leave both of those linked down below. Just tap the arrow on this side of the screen. And it'll take you to my life to know it, or you can just shop individual links if you want to. It's completely up to you. And then the croc came from Target as well. So I'm just gonna leave that there. We're gonna kind of work with it as we go. This mirror is so heavy, but it's so beautiful. I think I bought it almost four years ago now, and it's just a statement piece, it's beautiful, and it's also from Amazon, and I absolutely love it. It's a great size, but let me tell you, it is heavy, 
You have to make sure if you're gonna hang it on the wall, you hit some studs. <laughs> I have these pretty tulips. They're very realistic looking. These are from Amazon. I showed these during the springtime. This is from Target. Love. Um, I'm just trying to think. I don't want to add it too much to make it feel cluttered, but at the same time, I want it to feel welcoming, you know? Um, I don't typically decorate with lamps just because they seem to be a hazard when you have small ones <laughs> um, and they play around the house like normal. So, and this area gets a lot of light anyways, but I will... Our faux candles, these are from Amazon. This is from Hobby Lobby. It's their iron sticks, they're great value. And then this one is actually from Pottery Barn. And I only know that because it says it. I actually got this thrifting like six years ago and they were $10 a piece. So I grabbed them and I really like them, but um, pretty similar. I like it, but I also don't. <laughs> I feel like the tulips are nice because it's still spring here for us and stuff. And I don't know, I, I like them. I think it adds that nice pop of green. And let's try that new piece that I got last week uh, from Home Goods. It's a good statement. having the tree here so I feel like we need some extra height here on the side but maybe we don't you know um ooh, you know what would be pretty is if we put some wall sconces on Ooh, I like that idea I don't have any but I do have my eye on um they're really long like spear like looking um and they can hold a candle I think or you could turn them into a light those I think would be such a statement that would be really awesome. What do you think about wall sconces? I like that idea. Obviously, this is very blank the way it is, but I think if we add the board and batten treatment up here, I think that'd be really nice. Um, or even some pictures, like make it a smaller gallery wall, like maybe four larger prints or something. Um, yeah, we'll have to come back to this wall. But um, I really like the way the table looks for now. I think it's a great transition from spring into summer. Um, so I think I might leave that. I'm sure I'll change it, but well, I'm gonna change and we're gonna go outside and work on the porch. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by. 
Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so where I can find myself. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way, I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I find my way So to scrub the side of the house, I picked up this mop off of Amazon and it's meant for inside, but it's such a soft sponge on it. I thought it would work perfect on the siding and it did. It's not really scratching it. I mean, maybe the dirt is, but it's super soft and I like the fact that it rings out and you can adjust the handle and stuff, but oh my goodness, it doesn't look that dirty. But then you see this and you're like, this is awful. The dirt that came out of this was just so gross. So I'm gonna have to do it probably at least one or two more times during the summer season, but we are getting that much closer to having a nice clean porch to entertain on. I like using the air blower to blow off the rest of the water off of the siding. It works really good. Even on the concrete, it does really well. So it's a little, little trick for you. I found these chairs at Costco and they were under $30, which I thought was such a great buy. Yeah, I'm going to probably add some cushions to them, but they're really comfortable. They go really well with this table. This table was green and I painted it with Rust-Oleum spray paint years ago and it's finally just kind of chipping off because of the snow. So I'll probably have to redo that again soon, but I just thought, you know what? These are great. I would love to have some really beautiful chairs, but I really don't want to spend $300 on a chair for outside. Inside, that's another story because we're using it daily, but outside, we don't use it as often, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to dress up the porch a little bit. I have this planter left over from last year. It's from a Walmart. I think you can still find it online. So again, it'll be linked in the description box below. Just tap the arrow on the bottom of the screen on the right hand side and it will take you to everything in there. But I found some geraniums and uh, Costco and also some petunias at Costco. They're a really great deal. You can obviously find them at the nurseries, but it was a six pack and a three pack. So I was like, these would be so pretty on the porch. And I'm just loving that dark purple color. So I thought this would be really pretty just to liven it up a bit. And I'm gonna be adding more to the space, but that'll be in the next video. We'll decorate the table and the rest of the area. But for now, it's looking a million times better already and it will just continue to improve as I work on it.
And now for a greenhouse garden shed update. I am so excited. I'm adding windows in. So these windows um, I got for 30 bucks a piece, such a great deal. And I'm actually planning on putting grids on the other side of them so that they match. I think it goes with that beautiful um, cottage look that I'm going for. Now, this was supposed to be just strictly a greenhouse, but because the roof, if you've missed those videos, um, is more solid, um, it's not gonna let in enough light per se um, for the seedlings. So. I've decided to make this more of a cottage shed for the garden. And um, this was originally going to be all clear siding like the sides are, it was kind of ripply there. But I ended up finding these windows and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna make this look cute and still gonna be functional. So I'm gonna have all my yard tools in there. I'm gonna grow a couple plants in there, some that require a little bit more shade. And then I'm also gonna have a work table in here and I'm gonna put vases up on the back wall and I wanna do my floral arrangements when my cut flowers come in and share that with you. I'm really excited. This is gonna be still a very practical, useful um, shed for us. It's just um, not gonna be the full greenhouse. Um, so I'm excited, um, even though I've changed my mind on this project a gazillion times, it's coming together finally, and I'm so excited to share it with you. And I'm excited to share those future videos with you where we get to make some flower arrangements and garden, and I'm just so excited for summertime to get here eventually. <laughs> but as you can see here, I'm actually installing the window from the wrong side. I didn't realize this. Um, I've never installed windows before. And so I watched a few videos on it and I thought, okay, I got this. Well, um, I watched from the wrong side. <laughs> so um, I'm trying to see what I like here um, for the siding. I hadn't realized yet that I put the window in wrong until I looked at our windows on the house and I was like, why do these windows look so much different than the way I installed mine? Yeah. So um, this is cedar fence pickets. You can buy them with a round top or a flat top and I bought them in the flat top. They're six foot. And so I wanted to see what it would look like with the boards going vertically because my gap um, from side to side is about six and a half. So I was like, well, that's not gonna work. So I ended up installing these and I think it looks good, but I wasn't completely in love with it. So since I am a visual person, I have to see it done before I can go to the next step. I've drawn it out a gazillion times, but it still needs to be up physically for me to see it in order for me to know that I absolutely love it. It's just the way my mind works. <laughs> So now you can see how the horizontal looks with the window and I definitely prefer this side. I just basically did the same technique, I just made it go up and down versus side to side. So it is now the next morning. I could not live with it being done wrong. I wanted it to be done the right way, even though this isn't you know, a house or anything like that. I just wanted to know that I installed it correctly. So it was really easy to take out um, because all my boards were already cut. So to installing it again, basically it was the same concept, just wanted those flanges all the way around on the outside, not the inside. So I'm happy I fixed it. It just made a little bit more work and delayed me a little bit, but I'm excited. The next video, you guys should see the finished cottage. I'm so excited. I'm gonna call it the garden cottage because it is going to be more of a um, shed and a little bit of a greenhouse. You know, it's a multi-purpose room, but I'm so excited to share that with you. We're gonna be decorating in the next video. I'm really, really excited. So I hope you are too. And I hope you enjoy seeing this. A lot of you said you have, so that's why I'm sharing it. And this isn't your thing, I totally get it. But you know, I'm learning as I go with this. And you know, with any project, if you're new to it, it's okay. You're gonna make mistakes and that's okay. That's how you learn. And you know, it's, it, it's honestly, it inspires me to keep going because once you accomplish one thing, you're like, yes, it gives you that oomph and that encouragement to keep going. And this is what this project has done for me. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's Decorate With Me on the inside and outside, working on the different projects. Let me know what summer projects you have coming up for your house or anything pl fun plans for outside or even travel. I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day. Again, thank you for spending part of it with me. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe 
subscribe notification bell so you never miss an upload. I will see you in the next one. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye.